my co-founder and I actually did the program together. So at the end of the 10 months, we were both passionate about it. We loved working together, but on different aspects of the business, which is a massive advantage. Yes. And we were both very passionate. And I'll speak for myself. I had never had that opportunity before. And I didn't think I would ever get that opportunity again, where someone had literally paid me to look for problems to solve. Um, investors don't invest in that part. So, so I was like, it would be really sh a big shame if we didn't at least try because yeah. we have a clear problem that needs solving. Um, so that was, luckily I had a co-founder to get started is what I'm saying with that, with, with the team aspect. And then about a year in, we were able to hire our first employee. Um, and, yeah. So <laughs> cool. Wild. Uh, and he's still with us, so. <laughs> you haven't uh, scared him off yet, which is great. I haven't scared him off yet. Um, and so he's been phenomenal. And that was a really, that was really nerve wracking because founders have to be invested. Like you own the company. So you have to be invested in the company. Um, and Alexi and I work so well together, as I've mentioned before, and, and we really like working together and we're friends. So to bring someone else into that very intimate fold was scary. Mm -hmm. Um, and luckily Ed is incredible. So, um, that was, you know, it's not an issue, but it was nerve wracking at the beginning. So we brought Ed on a few years ago. And then this year after that successful financing, um, we were able to hire on a whole batch more people. So we went from three in March, um, to seven now. Um, and that's mostly on the engineering side still, but we also have a marketing associate now, which has been fantastic. Excellent. Yeah. And then you have commercial to figure out and how you actually get sales and building that yes. up. So you're going to have to well, leave And I would say we figured out what that looks like. Uh, now it's just a matter of doing it. So so yeah. it's you get to this exciting point in the company where you know exactly what it is you need to do next. And it's really just a matter of, you know, kind of hitting the pavement, putting the hours in and, and accomplishing the path you've set forth for yourself while also leaving it flexible enough to adapt as you go.